So this question starts off with giving us a system of equations. Whenever I see a system of equations, I am thinking of using the method called elimination. So elimination is where you line up your system of equations. So in this case, we have 2x plus 6y equals 2. And I'm going to just go ahead and simplify this second equation by distributing the 2 across the parentheses, which gives me 4 Oops, lost my pencil there. 4x plus 2y equals 20. So to eliminate, we basically decide which variable do we want to cross out, right? So I am going to decide to cross out the x value. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 2. In doing so, that top equation becomes negative 4x plus 6y equals 2. And the bottom equation remains positive 4x plus 2y equals 20. And I'm sorry, in fact, negative 4x, I made a mistake here. This should be because I'm distributing the 2 across everything in here. Negative 4x um, minus, let me just fix this up, negative 4x minus 12y equals negative 4. So now when I have this, I can eliminate the x term. Negative 12y plus 2y is negative 10y. And negative 4 plus 20 is equal to positive 16. When I divide both sides here, I get y is equal to negative 1.6. Now I know that I can take that y value and plug it into either the second equation here or the first equation there, and I should also get an x value. There's no real need for me to continue the math here. I don't have to actually figure out what that x value is because outside of this, there's no reason why I would get any additional solutions. So I know that there's not no solutions, right? Because I got a y value. I know that I plug that y value in, I'm gonna get an x value. Um, so exactly one solution makes the most sense. It doesn't make any sense that I would get Two solutions definitely doesn't make any sense that I would get infinitely many solutions, right? Because all I'm going to do is go back to this original equation, plug in the y value that I just found, right? And be able to solve this, right? Six times negative 1.6, whatever that number may be, right? Equals two. I can then add that to both sides and 2x equals whatever that number is. And I can divide both sides by two and I'm going to get an X value. I'm not doing all this because this is non, this is the non calculator section. So, you know, as much as I can do the math on the side here, um, just know that obviously we can figure out what negative 1.6 times six is and place it in here, but it doesn't honestly matter. So there's not really a real reason to do it, right? You just, you know, that you're going to get an X and Y that go together as your solution. And that's exactly one solution to this system of equations.